Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs. Today, I'm going to show you how to make this really cute little snake. And he's actually a bookmark. Um, one of the fun things you can do is if you have a, a book, you can pop him in because he's flat and use him as a little bookmark, which I think is really cute. It's a nice little gift. You can give him away um, in Halloween colours. You can give him away for Halloween present or uh, anything really. But anyway, this is what we're going to do today. So I'm going to do my main body, whereas this one is yellow. I'm going to do my main body red. I have two little black eyes. I'm going to do white and black stripe down his um, body here. And then I'm going to do his little tongue, because I'm doing him in red, I'm going to do his little tongue black, just to be a little bit different. Now, we're going to start with a magic ring. This is a hook-only design. However, I do use my loom to help me do my magic ring. And I do that really to show you how to do the magic ring, not to show me. So um, if you are competent and quite comfortable doing your magic ring on your hook, please do so. It'll be a lot quicker. So, magic ring, we can take a single band, wrap it around our, hook, our loom once and twice around that little peg. And then, as I said, we're doing six. So there's five, let's get the sixth band, there we go. Poke your hook through and drag your first band back up and one over the other and budge it round. Now, if this is the first time that you're doing crochet with loom bands, do yourself a favour and have a look at my beginner's guide to Luma Gurumi and also the playlist, well, that was a bit stretched, my playlist that I have of all the different stitches that I've learned so far. And that will help you and it'll be less of um, a gibberish, <laughs> massive video for you because um, once you know the stitches, it's very easy, but if you don't, it's all a little bit confusing. So here we go, here's our magic ring. And take that off. I'm going to budge these around so it's a magic ring and not a magic semicircle. Now the other thing you're going to need is a little stitch marker. I have one here. This is a clover stitch marker but you can use a paper clip, a safety pin, a C clip, an S clip, a bobby pin. All of those things work quite well uh, without you having to go out and buy these. If you're going to get into Lumigurumi in a big and hairy way I would definitely suggest getting something like that though. Let's go through our first stitch here and with a red band we're going to do a single crochet and put our stitch marker on that. That is our first one. okay? And then we're going to do two single crochets in each stitch. So back through that first stitch again and do our second single crochet. Now that's called an increase. We're going to do that in each of these stitches and it's going to increase the amount of stitches we have from 6 to 12. So let's do that. Now I'm using bands for eyes, but you can use beads if you like, it really doesn't matter. So two in each of these stitches, and you will have 12 stitches by the end of it. Now, our next round, we're going to do a single crochet followed by an increase. So, first stitch is a single crochet, and you're going to move your stitch marker onto that, so we know where to finish. That's the beginning, we know where to finish. Second stitch is going to be an increase. So one, and two. Third stitch is a single crochet. Fourth stitch is an increase. One and two. Fifth stitch, single crochet. Sixth stitch is going to be an increase. So I'm going to do my first one, just normal. My second one, which I need to do in there, before I do that I'm going to get a black band. Okay, so I'm going to push my hook through where I'm doing my next stitch. All right, that's my, my increase, so it's my second stitch. I'm going through that one that we've just done a single crochet in. Wrap my hook, my band around this hook once, twice, and three times. And then slide that onto the next band that I'm using for my stitch, like that. 
Now what I'm going to do is pull this through my stitch for my increase, get the other side on my hook and do my increase just like normal. I'm going to do a single crochet in red and I'm going to do another increase in the next stitch. My first stitch I'm going to do a single crochet, my second stitch I'm going to go through the stitch, black band, wrap once, twice, three times, slide that onto my black band, uh, my red band, pull it through, reclaim one over the other and then I'm going to do a single crochet in my next stitch. Increase one and two, single crochet, increase one and two. Now my first stitch here, I'm going to put my hook through and then take my stitch marker off and I'm going to pull a, a red band, one red band through but I'm going to add the loop that's on my hook to it as well. So it's like a slip stitch. Okay and now what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to alternate between using black and white and I'm going to chain about 20, you can do it as long or as short as you want, but I'm going to go one, two, one, two, and I'm going to alternate what I'm doing here. And you can do any pattern you like, really. Two. In the other ones that I've done, I didn't do any pattern, I just did a different colour down the middle. How many have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So it's quite long. And then I'm going to do two on the end here. So we actually do 22 in red. So one and two. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through the black one, so it's one, two and three, so you don't really count the one that's on your hook. So this is the first one from my hook, second one from my hook. And we're going to go through that one. We want to make sure that we don't twist this in a bad way. Make sure it's not twisted. There we go. So I'm going to go through this black one here and I'm just using red. I'm only using red from now on. And pull it through both of those. Whoopsie, let's do that again. Pull that loop through both of them. And as I said, we're just doing red all the way down. Just a single crochet all the way down. Now 
Now if you remember that was our first stitch that we did that sort of slip stitch in. So go through that first stitch here, we need to do that, otherwise we'll have a big gap. Now that was our first stitch, we're going to go into our second stitch on the head, single crochet, and then we're going to do an increase. in this next stitch, one and two and we'll do a single crochet and a single crochet and an increase so we're doing two single crochets and an increase single crochet single crochet and an increase and make sure you don't miss these little stitches sometimes they're a bit little because we put the eyes on them and they're a little bit stretched single single increase Single, single, increase. Single, single. Now we finish here on an increase, but then we have to work our way up the tail. So find the other side, you already did this, here's our slip stitch here, so we're going to go into the slip stitch first, which is red, single crochet, and then you work up the other side that you didn't do the single crochet on in the black and white. If you're doing um, the main colour a different colour than red, I would definitely do his little tongue with red bands. But because I've made the body red, I'm going to do his tongue with black bands. Oops, make sure I don't catch that red band in what I'm doing. Nearly finished. Oops, fumble finger strikes again. So, on this last stitch here, which is the black stitch here, I'm going to go through and instead of just doing one single crochet, we're going to do three. So, that's one, two, and three. And then in that red stitch, which you can see here at the top, you're going to put, put your hook through the two loops, just the two loops, I'm getting three loops, there we go, the two loops, single band, pull through, tie off in a slip knot nice and tight and then we're going to push your hook through some of these little V's on the back side here of the tail, all the way through and you're going to grab that tie off band and pull it back through so that it's hidden inside those V's and then just gently pull it forward so that it's not distorting the end of your tail but this is the correct side where the eyes are and as you can see we've got that zigzaggy 
black and white alternating band in the center there and there's our little guy here we have him in yellow with purple and purple with yellow now what to do the tongue work where you work out where you want the tongue to be so for me I'm going to put the tongue here I'm going to use a couple of black bands I'm going to count one two three and four now what I'm going to do I'm going to go into this first stitch and, and I want it so that as I look here I want it so that it, I'm, I'm not on the side I'm looking forward down so I'm going to pinch this here this is the stitch I want to go into so I'm going into this stitch with a black band one over the other doing your normal single crochet and come back down and the first black band and then I'm going to tie off using I'm going to go into this next stitch so I started here I'm going into this next stitch here with a red band I'm going to tie off so that it sort of fits in with the rest of the color of the snake's head like so and you can pretty this up a little bit better slide my hook through some of these V's grab that tie off band and pull it through and hide that under these V's in the back of the head like so and there is his little tongue oh, get these bands off me there we go pretty it up so that it's the right there so there we have my little red snake, I have a little yellow snake and a little purple snake and as I said I think they're really cute to use as bookmarks. Really hope you enjoy making them. Take care. Bye.